Hey YouTube, it's me Steve, I'm back, and today we got a shooting video for you. Here I got three glass bottles all lined up in a row. The gun we are going to be using today is our Crossman C11. It's a uh, 177 caliber non blowback. Uh, it's around 480 FPS, which um, is good. See, because it's non blowback, yeah, you don't get the realism, but it gives you more power with the gun. So we're going to see how many um, bottles it can fire through. Of course, we got eye protection. We're using trigger discipline. Safety's on, and nobody's in the room with me. This is loaded. I'm aware of that, so I'm using extra caution. Here we go. You know what? I'm just going to zoom in here. All right. One, two, well, I definitely hit some of them. Yeah, I most definitely hit some of them. There you go. Alright, well they're all down. And as you see I got this book over uh, right there, which I've actually been shooting. We're going to shoot that a bit. Still got beads in the magazine. See the one problem with not having a blowback gun is that you really never know when um, you're out of ammo. So you really got to keep track of uh, your shots because you don't have that slide locking back much like a real firearm when all of your uh, projectiles in your magazine are being expelled. So there's glass all over the floor here from shooting that so we're just going to be careful. But um, uh, on the first shot the BB did hit the first one and you know what it didn't just I hit it a few times, I hit it three times I got or maybe two because I got two shots up here and I got a big wide one down there. So that might be too close together. But I have completely destroyed that first bottle. Second one destroyed. Third one destroyed. Well, yeah. Well, we didn't knock them all down in one shot. I wasn't trying to knock them down. Actually, I was trying to blow them up, as you saw. And, well, we did blow them up. But we didn't exactly blow them up on the first shot, and that's what we were trying to go for. So, now I'm just going to say a little bit about my uh, the gun we're using today. This is the Crossman C11. Um, like I said, it's 177 caliber. It's about 480 FPS on the box. I don't have a chronograph, so I can't really find out what the real world FPS is of it. It's non-blowback even though the slide does indeed look separate and I can pull it, move it a tiny bit but it's not designed to go back so I don't know what's up with that it's not blowback as you can see it has a Picatinny rail down here under the barrel I like this trigger guard, it has some grip right here on the trigger guard so when typically when I'm aiming I, I hold it like that have my thumb up on the frame and I'm aiming it like that it gives me a lot of control of the fire. It uh, doesn't have a full size magazine. It has a stick magazine because it's CO2. Um, let's just see if this is unloaded first. Okay, it's empty. CO2 is in it. I don't plan on taking it out. I got very little CO2. I don't want to just pull out a full CO2 and waste the thing. Now, the access to CO2 by um, I pull the grip back and it's nice because you don't have that CO2 screw hanging out flopping around down there. So it just fits nicely in the grip, grip snaps back, nice comfortable grip at least for my hand. Uh, it doesn't have night sights at all, the sights are completely black on it because this, is, this was a $50 gun, sorry $60 gun, but as you see it doesn't have any fancy night sights. 
It's just very simple. And, you know, it's good. If you want a lot of power in an air gun, you don't care for the real detail and everything, this is a good one to go for. It's affordable, it works. Some people say it jams a lot. I have had experience with some jamming, but that could be attributed to um, loading the magazine to its fullest. I recommend leaving one or two BBs out just so the pressure isn't so much in that magazine because with the magazine, um, it's got this very, you can see the BBs like pushing out there. So the thing on there on top holding it in there, I, I don't think it's that strong. So when you like put like 16 BBs or whatever the capacity is on this, I think it's like 16. Um, it pretty much just pushes them all up into the receiver of the gun, just gets them jammed. So I recommend leaving one or two out of the mag. It uh, does have a lock down here, so you can lock it down. There's a hole there, as you can see, so you can fill them up. And then when you're done, what I would typically do is um, let it up slowly, like so. So, it's a good gun. Good for the price, good power, not the most realistic, but I find it to be extremely accurate. Probably due to its um, higher FPS, it pushes out the barrel quicker, quicker it goes, straighter it goes.